we have for you. Uh, Bazir and Gallopo, we saw them earlier in the broadcast. Same with Spadafar and Pickering, so a battle, I think, for Spadafar and Pickering, it should be a battle to get onto the scoreboard, or uh, play us. So Bazir holding shot. A little shadow, hopefully you guys can still see that still. See what Gary has here. Great ball here from Gary. Eric wearing that Phoenix Bowl shirt. They're on sale. If you want to pick up a Phoenix shirt, just reach out to the to the guys here at Phoenix Bowls and I'm sure they can hook you up with them. So I can tell you right now, based on seven rounds, uh, Gary Pickering and Michael Spadafore are at the bottom of the leaderboard uh, with two wins, five losses, and a plus minus of negative 56. And John Bazier and Eric Gallopo are, I think, also out of the playoff picture with two wins and five losses. So this does not have any playoff implications, but should be an exciting match for excellent players. Gary yeah, just wants to, it's right behind his front black speckled bowl, and he just wants to tuck it a little bit more behind, but pretty sure it's good where it is. I think he just wants to get behind it. So split the difference between his front black and the back blue. Uh, good shot there. Got a little drive action coming here. Reset. Anybody watch that stance video knows pre-shot routine. If you don't like it, back off, reset. All three. All three. Great shot there by Eric Gallopo to take all three shot balls out. That will make the highlight reel for Eric. We'll get a quick update of the score. In a moment, once the master scoreboard has been updated, we'll have to clip. We'll have to clip that little uh, drive and send it to Eric. So a huge turnaround score there. I will just quickly update. We were down, and with that drive, picked up 18 points. Fantastic swing of points right there. 
John just a little wide and through. Back four right on top of the zone. Just looking to tuck behind Mike's there. The blue ones, he wants to get in between them and the jack. That pull's not bad either, and that shot. Just a little short, probably about two feet in front of that front blue one, so it's not in the shot. Pretty good line here from Eric, but is it going to reach? Yeah. Good ball. Good shot there from Gary. Same kind of draw again. See if you can sit on top or draw around. John's is in front, so if he does clip on that, it's not a big deal. I just want a cold draw here. I guess it's a measure. It's really wide. It's probably right through too. It looks like, yep. Calling for the same shot. He didn't miss by much on both first ones, so. Uh, super narrow, cutting across the front. Yeah. Coming in, great shot there. See if we can get a quick update on the score here. Okay. 
before the 18. Spider for a lead enough. Really short on that one. Great opener there from John, probably about two feet off. Short ball, it's unfortunate. John just needs to add a couple feet, even if he draws up really close behind. We got the toucher. It's bad if I need this one to be reaching. He's definitely here. Close. It's hard to tell from the screen or looking straight at it. Down one now. Eric's up first. Just trying to get around those front two. Pretty close. Just coming up short, but good bowl there. That's useful. That to come in. Press Good there. Yeah, nicer to use it to actually chip the jack over, but I mean, they've got that line locked down pretty good. Mike's looking for a rest onto the back pole there. Let's see if Gary Pickering can make it. Short. So the discussion they're having is uh, if it's worth using Gary Pickering's black speckled bowl out in front on the right, catch a, an inside edge of that to get the angle across the head to the jack. It's going to be very difficult to draw cold. Basically what they were trying to do with the Eric's bowl before, but they didn't quite catch it flush enough. <clears throat> I mean the cold draw is fine too. Just make sure you lock it down to only one of their bowls in there. When a 
Chris about it? Not quite. Nicely pointed, though. Makes it really tough for Gary. He's got to draw a fold onto that back bowl. I don't think there's any other way to uh, to grab that. I'm kind of surprised they went so aggressive at it, but I don't know if the reset would have got them anything. Assuming they were trying to hit dead on, not catch that edge. That carries just a little too wide on this one. Take a good look at this to see who shot. Pretty good in from both teams. A lot of touches. Hey Tom, great to see you. Yeah, the format's pretty cool. Lots of points to get, so a lot more strategy to how you get it, and you know, touches mean three points. You know, a lead bull right after the leads are done could be three points. So it's quick games too. So you know, get them over with. Get an official score update here. Just waiting for them to update the scoreboard. I think it's 35. To 31. Close game. Could be anybody. Here with the opener, not gonna reach. It's been a struggle. It seems going this direction, so um, back up the green. People have been short more often than anything. Good reaching bowl here from Mike. Still a couple feet short though. Don't bounce that one, so it's probably not going to make it. On the other side. And it's hanging out there all the way through. Right to the back. Oh, John's already released his ball. <laughs> See if he got it away clean this time. He did. Shot try. Certainly both teams want that number one shot. Want to keep that edge, so. And I believe Bazir and Galbo got a toucher in this one, so. This should be up to 38, 38 to 31. Gary's up. This one, 
heading right across the head. See if Eric can add to John's bull here. Hold two. A lot of great players at this event. Would love to see a lot more players come and play. It's a fun format. Lots of points, lots of opportunity just to play. You get tons of games. And if you're lucky enough to have a really good day, there's a good prize pool to be had. So definitely worth thinking about for next year. love to see you out here and support this event and this new format. Gary's way in the back there with Mike. Eric's got to add a good five, six feet. And it looks like he has. Brilliant bull here. I believe they have 12 teams total. I didn't quite count when I went in. I've got the scoreboard here. Well, they ended up with 10 total. I think a couple dropped out. Which is unfortunate. Like I said, it's a great format and a great opportunity to get a lot of bulls in because they're quick five end games. Really cool ways to score points. Definitely worth a try if you're a bulls enthusiast. Good end for. Bazir and Gallopo. We're getting an official update on score here. Glad to see you in here, Heather. Hope you're doing okay. Good opener from John here. Mike looks like he's got a good response coming in. Just holding out. John can put another one in here. Just gonna be a little narrow, but right on top of it. Yeah, they need a ton of points, so they want to catch that and pull it over. A little too narrow. John's probably right on top again. He's got about the same line. Almost. But it works. Whatever way you want. I think Gary's asking for a lot from that side, but we'll see. Unless he's going to try to pick it up. Good job. Good job. Gives him a chance.
Right, looking for something to mark the jack with. They don't have any markers out here. Good try there from Eric. Well How many are watching? I'll give you an idea. 14 right now, which is excellent. Everybody out there, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Really glad to have you here. We've had uh, highs and lows during the whole day, so it's a really great to have everybody here. Right up to the edge here, great ball. Up and down, we probably still got it. Say it again, bud. Right up and down, bud. Draw to the ditch. It's a tough shot to do. These guys are showing you how it's done. Right or... <laughs> Eric's just going to go into the ditch with this one. Good try. Gave it enough. Make the correction, bud. Alright, Eric's got another try to get one in here. Gary's trying to get that ball that's on the green on the left side of your screen, the yellow and the blue. They've rolled up to it. See what the final is here. Give you an update. Leave that sixty-three forty-eight for Bazir and Gallopo. Great finish that game. We will send you on an intermission, and we will be back shortly once we get the playoff picture sorted out, and hopefully you guys can stick around and check it out. Thanks for being here. Don't forget, like the video. Uh, don't forget to like our Facebook page, like our YouTube page, check out all our content. We're, we're coming at you with as much stuff as we can, and love you all. We'll be back in a bit.